Hi, I'm Bill Kingsley with Team Kingsley. I'm here to tell you about the new features in the latest firmware release for the MediaWiz Sprite. All of the new features are for the serial control mode, so if you're just using a basic trigger mode with a switch, step mat, motion sensor, etc., there's no need for you to update to the new version firmware. However, if you're using a serial control, there may be some new features here you would like to use. One of the new features adds the ability to make any file on the SD card become the looping file. By sending two bytes, the hex FC followed by the file number, you can make the new file number loop. This can be changed at any time to any file number under serial control. After a power cycle, the loop will default back to the 000 file. So on this center monitor, I will now change the looping file to file 3. All the files you're seeing here are 10 seconds long, so they're all looping. So you notice there's no flicker, there's no black when things change. And now I will command this monitor to play a different file, file 7. After file 7 ends, you will see that it will go back and loop the file 003. And again, any file on the SD card can be made the looping file just by sending the command. Now I'm going to send this back to the original zero loop, which is the, the sprite logo here on all of these, is the zero 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 file. Uh, some other new features we have is the ability to ask the sprite how many files are on the SD card. So we have a command CB that you can send and the sprite will report back the number of files on the SD card. That could be useful for some applications in, in the programming where you need to know if the user changes the SD card out with a different number of files so your program can still operate properly. Some of the other new additions are the ability to set the video output. Uh, you can of course do that in the on-screen menu but now you can also set to 720 or set to one of the 1080 settings by a serial command. Then you can also set the audio output path to the AV jack or to the HDMI port, again by a serial command. There's also transport commands, uh, volume up and down mute. Uh, one of the notable things on this new version is the pause command is no longer a toggle. So it's not pause once to pause and, and the same command again to unpause. So now you use the pause command and there's a separate play command to resume play after a pause. Then we have an addressing feature built in now where you can put multiple sprites on the same serial receive line. Um, there are five addresses you can set on the on-screen menu. Each sprite will only respond to a command that's preceded by its address. So no matter how many is on here, it'll only respond if, if it sees its address first. And we can do a couple of these. And you can see that they're only responding whichever ones I'm sending to. And then, of course, they go back to their, their looping file after that. So this is called a, a multi-drop bus setup. And again, uh, it's just connecting all the receive lines together, connecting all the grounds together, and then connecting those to your serial port on your controller. Uh, I would suggest you go to MediaWiz.com or, or go to TeamKingsley.com, download the latest user manual for this firmware version which is 2018-0704 and it will explain more about these commands. It will show the schematics of how to hook up the multiple sprites to one serial port. And then if you've got any other questions after that, don't hesitate to email 
support at teamkingsley.com or support at mediawest.com.